Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you how to develop a SAML application by using Okta in Spring Boot. SAML stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. It is an XML based standard for securely exchanging authentication and authorization information between the entities, specifically between identity providers, service providers and users. Now I am going to show you the step by step procedure to develop a SAML application by integrating with the Okta in Spring Boot. Okay, the first step create an account in the developer.okta.com. In developer.okta.com, click create free account button. It will redirect to the sign up page. Here, provide your email address, first name, last name, company. After providing all the input fields click the get started button you will receive an email for confirmation about the okta account look at here a confirmation email has been sent now go to your gmail account or other account to activate your account so i received my temporary password now i am trying to sign in with the okta here I am providing my email address and then the temporary password. When you are trying to first time login, you will be asked to provide a new password. After providing a new password and then the forget password question after answering your forget password question choose your security image and click create my account button the account will be created in the developer.okta.com so look at here this is your main dashboard account now go to the developer console and click classic UA and then here you can see the add application link Click the create new app and then choose the platform as a web and sign on method should choose SAML 2.0. Okay, now click create button and then provide the app name here. Here I am providing app name is test app and then the app logo is an optional and then app visibility. So click next button here in configure saml provide a single sign on url here i am going to use the local host 8443 port so i am giving the single sign on url and then the audience URA you have to provide the audience URA is like a saml metadata it is also should be a local host okay so now click next here in feedback Tab, uh, click the option I am an Octo customer adding an internal app this is an internal app that we have created click finish in the sign on tab in the yellow tab you can see identity provider metadata link click the identity provider metadata link and then copy this URL for the further use in the Spring Boot application now go to the assignments tab and then add the user i mean assign a user assign two people here already i have an account so i am assigning this user to this app okay done okay so far we completed whatever the required in the octo developer.com so we completed that now i am going to sign out in the developer.octa.com now go to the spring initializer page and then generate a maven project with java and then the spring boot version is 1.5.10 and then provide the group name as com.talk to amarisurandar projects and then the artifact name it is like artifact name i am going to provide saml app so we need the web dependency and then the time leaf dependency and then security dependency and then the dev tools dependency we need 
now click generate project button project will download into your machine extract the sample app and then import this maven project into your eclipse in eclipse use the existing grid uh, i mean maven project option to import this project provide the project root directory here and then click finish after importing the project into your eclipse go to the pom.xml file and make sure all the dependencies are ordered or not so here you can see in the dependency section so look at here spring boot starter security spring boot starter timeless spring boot starter web and spring boot dev tools dependencies are added we need to also add one more dependency it's like a spring security saml dependency also this dependency is required the repository url so here i provided the repository for spring milestones so this spring security saml dependency will be available in this repository lips milestone spring milestone repository okay after adding this dependency make sure the main spring boot application class file is annotated with the add spring boot application now go to the application dot properties and add the ssl enabled properties such as the server port number is 8443 server ssl enabled is true server ssl key alias name i'm going to provide spring and then the key store file path i'm going to generate the key store file in the class path and then the key store password i'm going to use secret okay and then provide the security saml metadata url here in the application dot properties file now i am going to generate the keystore.jks file in the class path in the class path generate a generate a keystore file here provide the keystore password secret and then the first name i am going to use my name and then the last name i am going to use surya mood then here provide your organization name and then the city i am going to provide it chennai and then the state is tamil nadu and then country is india okay everything is correct now the key store file will be generated into your class path file i mean the class path now refresh your project and then you can see the keystore.jks file under the source main resources directory okay now create a security configuration class file that extends the super class security web configure security configurer adapter so the class should extends the web security configurer adapter so create a security configuration class file and then add the required annotation required annotations are at enable web security at configuration annotation declare the variables metadata url key ally password port and then the key store path file and then assign the variable values from the application dot properties file by using at value annotation define a configure method with the authorized request that and matches should saml permit all and any request should be an authenticated and apply the saml authentication for every request and then provide the key store file path key store password and then key store allies name and then the key store password here and then the protocol should be the https and then the host name should be like localhost and 8443 and then the base part should be slash so whenever you trying to hit the you close colon 8443 automatically the request will be redirected to the okta login page now 
add a simple request mapping URL that redirects into the HTML page. So here I am adding address, I mean at controller annotation in the main Spring Boot application class file. The request mapping I added index. So the request will be redirected to the index.html file. Create an index.html file under the templates directory here. Index.html file. In index.html file, add a simple HTML that like allow SAML, it works. It's a simple body content. Okay. Now I am going to run this application. So here, copy the path and then go to the, the main Spring Boot application class file you can run. So here I am directly running this application. Okay. So here I use the Spring Boot version 1.5.10 and then the keystroke JKS file I added in the class path itself. Okay. So look at here Tomcat started on the port 8443. Load the URL in your web browser https colon slash slash localhost colon 8443. You will get an error like this in your web browsers. Your connection is not secure. Click advance and click the add exception and then click confirm security exception. The request will be redirect to the Octa. So here you need to provide your email ID and then the password you have to provide. Look at here the authentication has been successfully worked and then I can see the HTML content output allow SAML it works. Okay. So once again, if you copy this URL and paste it into the another tab, automatically it will be redirect to the index page without asking the login once again. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. You can find my code in the Git repository. Git repository link has been given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.